a sub 200 euro streamer that does 24 bit 192 kilohertz? Yes, I found one, but is it any good? Welcome to the HB channel. My name is Hans Beekhuizen and in this show we look at a streamer by the name of Teufel Ramfeld Connector. Teufel is a Berlin, Germany based manufacturer that started in 1979 as Lautsprecher Teufel and converted their business model in 1990 by going direct to the customer. Today they sell loudspeakers and electronics solely through their webshop. The buyer has the right to return whatever he bought within 8 weeks if it's not up to his expectation and if the equipment is returned undamaged and in the original packing of course. The connector is a streamer, more or less like a squeeze box or the Sonos Connect. It's a small plastic box measuring about 13 by 17 by 3 cm and having a grey front and sides and a glossy black top that holds a standby button. The front holds two LEDs for status reports. The rear contains stereo analog inputs and outputs, a digital output on Toslink, a network connector, a USB connector to connect storage devices and a 10 volt DC input to hook up a power brick. A recessed reset button and a setup button are also found here. The manual comes in English and German and is no more than a basic setup guide. Not that there is much to explain, there is only one button and that sets the connector in or out standby. The four handy presets buttons found on the stereo S speaker lag here and all control is done using a tablet or smartphone. Time to set it up. If you already watched the Teufel Stereo M video you can go to the timecode below to skip the setup and app description. The set offers both wired and wireless LAN. The latter according to the 802.11p G and N standards and also supporting WPA and WPA2 password protections. MP2, MP3, WMA, WAV, AAC, FLAG, AUG and Apple Lossless are supported. Files up to 192 kHz and 24 bits can be played provided the network is fast enough. For Wi-Fi 802.11n is the minimum for 24 bit 192 kHz, although I would rather use a wired network. But first we have to configure the set using the free iOS or Android tablet or smartphone app. Start up the Ramfeld app and follow the instructions on the screen. When that routine is finished you add one or more network shares that you hold your music. You just select from a list of possible sources. Shown are computers that hold shares or DNA services. After that the system will start indexing your music, which can take a rather long time, longer than with other systems. But it did index all of my 142,000 tracks while for instance Sonos is limited to 30,000 to 45,000 depending on the metadata. If every track has a cover art included, like I have, it's rather 30,000. Not with the Ramfeld apparently. When asked, Teufel replied that up to 150,000 tracks can be indexed and with the Ramfeld Expand Wi-Fi hub it is supposed to handle over 300,000. The Expand might be a good idea for those that have their home network used intensively, since it provides a separate Wi-Fi network for the Ramfeld products only. You can also connect a USB hard disk to it holding your music. Given the 70 euro price tag, a cheaper solution than a NAS. Time to look at the remote control. I use an iPad, but an Android tablet would equally do. I iOS and Android smartphones can be used too, but the limited screen estate may makes it less comfortable. After starting the app, you will see the home screen that holds a list of played music and on the right the album art and song title of the track playing with further down the transport controls. Tapping a radio station or album pops up a list with playback options. If play is chosen that music starts playing right away. Selecting my music 
in the top bar brings up a list of your music, in this case sorted by artist. When selecting an artist you see the albums of the artist, in this case Diana Kroll. Pressing the play button next to her name starts playing all her albums but you can also select one album or one track. Along the top of this window you can choose for sorting on album, genres, favorites, composers, recently added, by folder and on track. Tapping the left corner of the, the album art shows the playlist. Tap the center and the technical data of the music files are shown. Under the transport function music zones can be activated, grouped and deactivated. The volume knob in the lower right corner also has a fold out menu for tone and balance control. Other sources are selected in the top row where TuneIn offers plenty of internet radio stations and subscription services as Tidal, shown here, Wimp, Spotify and Napster by Rhapsody. You can also select the line input on any Ramfeld device in your system and play it on the same or any other Ramfeld device. Selecting your own music collection is also a breeze as we have seen. I once said that any remote app for music players works just as fine, as long as you get used to it. The Roundfeld app proved me wrong. I really love the way all kinds of info and settings are accessible from the main screen and that's even more than I have described here. The app isn't as solidly robust as that of Sonos and Blue Sound. it for instance jumps back to the home screen after short connection losses that occur from time to time. That doesn't stop me from calling it my personal favorite, but please do note the word personal, for judging user interfaces is always a personal matter. The connector does gapless playback effortless. When connected analog to, the, to an amp the quality is about equal to the squeeze box or Sonos Connect. So, sufficient for my reference set 3. The same goes for using combination with an external DA converter. Using the connector in set 2 is a bridge too far. Although I must say that it doesn't sound nasty, it just lacks quality, as does the connector and the squeeze box. Taking in account the low price of 199 euros, that's an excellent result. If you want sound one tier higher, you'll have to shop for products like the Blue Sound Node that cost more than twice the price. Comparison with the squeeze box might seem odd, but it's still popular despite being out of production for years and there's still a very strong second hand market. Replacing it with the connector might be interesting if you have a large music collection or if you want to play 24 bit 192 kHz files. The Logitech media server that provides Logitech devices with music is rather slow with large music collections which is not the case with the connector. Compared to the Sonos Connect, it offers far more memory for storing the music catalog and 24 bit 192 kHz playback and is half the price. So if you have a stereo at or below the quality of my set 3, the Teufel Raumfeld connector offers decent quality at a very low price. You can read the full article including links to the manufacturer on the hbproject.com. More videos are on the way so subscribe to my channel, follow my Facebook page, my Google Plus page or my Twitter account if you want to keep up to date. You'll find the information in the description below. Questions can be posted below on my Facebook or Google Plus page or on the contact page on the hbproject.com. And if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and tell your friends about it. My name is Hans Beekhuizen for the HB channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video or on the hbproject.com. And whatever you do, enjoy the music. <laughs>